It's mailbag time here on Chicago Bears Now. I am Harrison Graham, back with another video. Thanks to everybody who submitted their questions on our last Bears Now video. This one coming in from Braden. Do you think the Bears can make Allen Robinson into a Hall of Fame type of player? And is he a franchise player for the future using hashtag Bears? I mean, Hall of Fame is a pretty big leap there, Braden. I like Allen Robinson a lot. He's coming off a big-time season, and he's definitely established himself as a number one wide receiver. I won't say it's impossible that he could have a Hall of Fame-type career, but he has been around for a little bit, but he's still pretty young, 26, 27 years old, entering his 27-year-old season, uh, also entering the last year of his contract with the Bears. Uh, forget Hall of Fame. The priority and the focus is keeping this guy long-term, securing him, signing him to a long term extension if he becomes a hall of fame receiver that's great for everybody involved that's great for Allen robinson that's great for the chicago bears he was awesome last season despite the offense being let's just call it what it was an absolute mess still had over 1100 yards still had almost 100 catches still had seven touchdowns this guy is an excellent excellent football player and one of the best receivers in the national football league and you got to keep him because you don't have a guy that you can replace him with sure there's a lot of good receivers in the nfl today you don't just go and find number one wideouts. So you can't just be like, oh, we'll just draft someone next year. That's not really how things work in the NFL. Allen Robinson is one of the 10 or 12 best people at what he does in the NFL. Only a handful of players are better receivers than he is. You don't just find these guys. So got to keep him long term. I definitely think he's a franchise player for the team moving forward. Hall of Fame. Who knows? Probably not. It's hard to get there, but you never know unless you try. Who do you guys think the better receiver is in the NFL? Type R for Allen Robinson, type B for Odell Beckham. The reason I put these two side by side, Odell Beckham's the top five highest paid wide receiver. So if you're going to keep him long term, you're probably going to have to pay him top five money. I actually think Robinson might be a little bit better at this point. The undisputed GOAT at the running back position is Walter Payton. And guys, we got vintage Walter Payton jerseys on sale at chatsports.com slash Payton. Guys, these are up to 30% off. We got navy. We got the orange. We got the white jerseys. Gray as well. Tons of different options we're not showing you on screen either at chatsports.com slash Payton. Some of these are under 100 bucks. I believe that white one is at like $75 right now. Trust me, these deals are not going to last forever. Go to chatsports.com slash Peyton. Represent the greatest bear of all time by getting yourself a jersey or get your dad a jersey for the upcoming season. Father's Day is just around the corner. Next up on our Bears mailbag, it's Mel Baver. Who is your favorite Bears player? Well, Walter Payton's my favorite Bear of all time, uh, but that's kind of an obvious one, at least in my opinion. Uh, I'll throw up four names right here uh, who are uh, some of my favorites on the current team. Obviously, Cleo Mack. We all love uh, uh, what he brings to the table. Eddie Jackson, I'm a big fan of his game. I think he's going to continue to get better and better. I love Allen Robinson, who we've talked about already as well. And then you guys know B. I I'm a big David Montgomery fan. L watched him a lot in college at I. Iowa State led the nation in uh, two straight years in broken tackles. Had a lot of broken tackles for the Bears this past season. Uh, if the offensive line is a little bit better this year, I think you're looking at a big-time breakout player in David Montgomery. So who's your favorite Bears player? I'll leave it up to you guys. These are some of my favorites, but go ahead and let me know who your favorite one is. Spam it in the comment section. I'll make this the pinned comment on today's video. So if you get hit with the ad break, go ahead and answer down there. Go to Christian Kalenke using hashtag Bears. Do you think Matt Nagy would ever relieve his play calling duties if to an OC? Play calling at times last year was awful. Why are we running a 5-6 gadget running back between the tackles? Of course, talking about Tariq Cohen there. Um, I'll put it this way. If he gives up play calling duties, that, thing's one, that means one or two things has, has happened. That means it's way down the road and he's fully established as a head coach and he's, you know, he's just ready to hand that off to someone else. Or that means things aren't going well and one of these guys is having to take over, specifically Bill Lazor or John Filippo, who have both called plays in the NFL. I don't think it'll happen this year. Only way it happens is if it comes from above and they're like, hey, you got to try something else. You're fighting for your job here. Um, I don't think it's going to happen. I still think Matt Nagy is a really good offensive mind. Yeah, last year wasn't great. He didn't call 
you know, the play calling was suspect at times. They didn't use Mitchell Trubisky's legs nearly enough. I think part of that was because of the injury issues. But clearly, the offense got worse from 2018 to 2019. That's no secret. Everybody has to own that. Matt Nagy has to own it, which he has. Uh, you know, the quarterback, uh, Mitch Trubisky, has to own it. Uh, the offensive line has to own it. Everybody involved has to recognize, hey, we weren't as good last year. We got to be better this year. And that does start with Matt Nagy as the head coach and as the play caller. So I want you to be honest with me. Do you believe in Matt Nagy as a play caller? Type Y for yes, type N for no. 12 months ago, this wouldn't even be a question. After that 12-4 and four season, even after coming short in the, up short in the playoffs, you'd be saying, first year, this is great. We're going to continue to get better. Then the offense regress. So let me know. Do you still believe in him as a play caller? Type Y for yes or type N for no. And while you're there pondering that and answering that question, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to Chicago Bears now. The countdown to 10,000 is here. We're at like 9,200 subs right now. Let's get to 10K as soon as possible. We're putting up videos almost every single day. Help us out. Hit that red, su red subscribe button and share that link below with a friend. It's youtube.com slash bears now. Zachary Linkatis is up next. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Let me know, Zach. If Mitch has a good season and is re-signed after this year, what do you think will happen to Nick Foles? Also, what are the chances the Bears keep Mitch as a backup quarterback to Nick Foles for the future? So a couple different angles here. Let's start with the first one. I think it's an interesting question. If Mitch has a good season, what happens with Foles? Well, if he has a good season, that means the numbers are a lot better than this. You know, probably close to 4,000 yards maybe 25 touchdowns to 10 picks, somewhere in that range. Uh, and obviously that would assume that he wins the starting quarterback job because that is by no means a guarantee uh, whatsoever. If he wins the job and, and, and is brought back, I think what happens to Foles is one or two things. Uh, they keep him on as a backup or he opts out. The way he restructured his deal, he can opt out after 2020 or 2021 uh, and hit free agency if he wants to. Now, that would probably only happen if he won the job and balled out and wanted a bigger deal either with the Bears or with another team. If he's the backup, if he doesn't play well and Trubisky takes the job, $9 million the next two seasons as a backup, pretty good money in the NFL. Now, the other angle, I only think that both quarterbacks make this roster or on this roster next year if Trubisky is the starter. I don't see a scenario with Trubisky is back as Foles backup. Like, if Foles takes the job and runs with it, they're not bringing back Trubisky. Like, there's a reason they, they let go of this fifth-year option. So that's my answer to the second part of that question. Now, who's the starting quarterback going to be in 2021? If you think it's Nick Foles, type F. I think it's Mitchell Trubisky, type T. Think it's other someone else type O. Also, feel free to comment below uh, any specific names, either another NFL quarterback or a draft prospect. Go ahead and let me know down below. But F for Foles, T for Trubisky, or O for other. Quick reminder of our deal of the day here on Chicago Bears. Now it's these Walter Payton jerseys. Go to chatsports.com/slash Payton. I'll put that link in the comments and in the description. These jerseys are up to 30% off. Several of them are under $100. Take advantage. Get your dad a cool present for Father's Day at chatsports.com slash Peyton. Tyler Prince is up here. Do you think that Little Mac should be on the start since Khalil is a big time part of the Chicago defense? I think what he means is like, should he make the roster? Basically, that's at least how I'm interpreting it because he's definitely not going to start like on the defense if he makes the team. If he makes the team, it's as a special teams role and a big time backup. I don't think it's very likely he makes the 53 man roster. It's possible. I mean, you never want to say never. If you if you get to uh, go to training camp as a player on the 90 man roster, you have a chance, right? You have a chance to prove the coaches that you are worthy of keeping, but. Let's be honest. Let's read believe, believe, uh, between the lines. Ladarius Mack, nice college player. He got invited, or he got signed by the Bears as UDFA, probably mostly as a courtesy to his big brother, Khalil Beck. Now, he's going to have his chances. He's going to be able to prove himself. He was a good pass rusher this past season at Buffalo, as you, we compare the senior seasons uh, side by side. Khalil Mack several years ago, obviously, Mack this past year. It's not like I'm rooting against the kid by any means, but he just doesn't have the talent and ability that his older brother does. I, it'd be a great story if he made the team. I think he's definitely a practice squad candidate. Like, I think they'd like to keep him around. It would keep Khalil happy. He can continue to develop. I think that makes a lot of sense. Two extra practice squad uh, players now from 10 to 12. So I think that's probably the most likely scenario. What do you guys think, though? Will Ladarius Mack make the Bears' final 53-man roster? Type 1 for yes, type 2 for no. 
don't think it's very likely, so I'm going to type my two for now. Eli Valencia here. If the Bears make the playoffs, how far do they make it? How far do they go is, I think, is what he's asking there. Um, well, I already did my game-by-game -game predictions uh, videos. Go ahead and check that out. I do have them making the playoffs, uh, I think, as a, probably a wild-card team. You look at the past five years, and this is the Ryan Pace era, by the way. Only made the playoffs once a couple of years ago at 12-4 and when they had that breakthrough season. <laughs> Brutal double dink loss to the Eagles, right? Cody Parkey will never forget that one. Uh, but you thought you were on the uptick. Then you, you know, you regress this past season. So this is a big year for the Bears. I've got them making the playoffs. As far as how far they'll go, I think it really comes down to these two guys and specifically the one that wins the starting quarterback job, whether that's Mitchell Trubisky or Nick Foles. The defense is going to be good. It, it, we all know that. It's top five in the NFL. Whether it's the best or not, that's up for debate. It's definitely in the conversation. Can Trubisky or Foles give you average and hopefully above average quarterback play? That'll determine how far this team can go. If you, if one of these guys is a top 15 quarterback in the NFL, which is asking a lot, but possible, this team could go very far. He'd go to the NFC Championship game with that defense. So it'll come down to the guy behind center, whether that's Trubisky or Foles. Predict for me how far do you guys think the Bears will go this season? I think they're a playoff team. I'm going to hold judgment for how far I think they'll go. I got to see these guys play, especially on offense uh, for now. That's how I'll predict it. I think they'll make the playoffs as far as how far they'll go. I'm not ready to quite predict that. Hopefully it's further than last year, which means they're playing in the postseason. Obviously fell short at 8-8, eight and eight, but keep in mind, extra playoff spot this year in both conferences, NFC and AFC, got three wild card teams now. So I like the Bears' chances because they have an elite defense, but again, I think it's going to come down to the quarterback play to determine how far they will go in the end.